Hey, what is going on guys? Watson KHD here, back again with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Now, just before we get into the video, there's a couple of things that I do want to mention. One of those things is there's going to be a whole bunch of Red Dead Redemption 2 videos coming up on my channel very shortly. Um, there is a new glitch going around that I do want to do. Um, I want to explore some different locations and I'm sure you guys would love to see that. So keep an eye out for those videos. Also guys, I'm thinking about doing a video where I show you guys some of like the top secret characters. And you know, hopefully you guys would enjoy that. I'm not too sure on that video yet. But if I do do it, just keep an eye out. And if it's something that interests you, just go ahead and click on that video. Also guys, later on today or either tomorrow morning, I'm going to have a video where I talk about the giveaway that I'm going to be doing. We have now officially passed 15,000 subscribers. I told you guys I was going to be doing a giveaway, and we're going to be talking about that later on today or tomorrow morning. Now, I need your guys' advice on what you would like me to give away. I did say to you guys this is going to be a big giveaway, but I'm not too sure what to give away. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. What would you like, a console or you know something else like that? But again, there is going to be an official video talking about that later on. So just let me know in that video what you'd like to see. And uh, we're going to try and get around to doing that giveaway. Now, enough of the talking. You're probably wondering what it is I want to show you. Well, it's this house right here. This is actually labeled the taxidermist's house on the map. You can get here by heading just east of Strawberry. It's, like, it's actually just like right outside Strawberry, just up the hill. And you can come to this house. Now, I personally don't know how to get into this house like legitly i only know how to glitch into this house now i've got a few guesses as to how you actually get into this house one of them is that once you've completed all of the hunting requests for this lady you'll then be able to gain access to her house possibly even talk to her and get a reward from her but i haven't done all of those yet so for the time being glitching is going to be our best friend now you guys are probably wondering, how do I get into this house if I currently have no way of getting in there legitly? So, what you guys are going to want to do to glitch into this house is pull out a lantern, and then pull out a pistol. So you have your lantern in one hand, your pistol in the other hand. Aim in, and aim straight down, and walk towards the door. And as soon as you hit the door, go into first person, and you should be stuck inside the door. Now, if you're not inside the house, just jump forward by pressing X. And there we go, we are now inside the house. Obviously, you can just get in here by going into first person, and sometimes you slip through the door, but if you're having a bit of trouble, just press X to dodge, or, you know, jump forward out of the way, and uh, you should be able to get into this house. And as you can see, this house is pretty damn amazing. You know, for a taxidermist house, like, there is literally taxidermy everywhere. You've got whatever skin that is, um, you've got, like, a deer, or, a, you know, a buck, or something. I don't really know my animals that well <laughs> especially those kind of animals uh you got uh what looks to be like a goose a goose no not a goose like a, a bird of some sort you've got a another bird there you got a you know that's an eagle i can tell that's an eagle you got a bird and yeah some other birds um <laughs> you've got uh i want to say i don't even know what that is i want to say it's a skunk but a skunk is not that color surely could be a possum. It's probably a possum. I'm not too sure. Probably a, a fat possum at that. That's a fat possum. Um, you can see on the table she's got what looks to be a wolf. Could be a fox. No, I think it's probably a wolf. She's got a bunch of stuff. There's some cigarettes that you can pick up there. Red rocket cigarettes. Um, got some gloves. Got a nice pair of scissors inside a lovely little case right there. You know, got some paper. She's obviously writing. Can we actually see what she's... Um, writing on this paper. Anything good? No, it's just all blurry. Okay, so we can't see that. Um, we, you know, we got a bunch. We got a turkey. Uh, some more antlers. A ram skull. Another skull. Just you know, some bits there. Oh, is that a? Oh, I think that's a skunk. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a skunk. There's a chest that we can also search. So let's go ahead, search this chest. What's inside? Some herbivore bait, some predator bait, and something else. Um, got some fine brandy on the table. Let's go ahead, pick that up. That looks like it's like pick upable. It looks like something you could pick up, but doesn't let us. And there is also a downstairs to this place. You know, some more taxidermy on the walls just there. So let's head downstairs. If my man would like to uh, walk faster, that'd be great. And here we got some interesting things look at that 
We got the fox, look, wearing some lovely jewelry. We got a, a skunk with a, you know, with a lovely rose petal. It's like, marry me, baby. And, you know, it's even got the ring and everything. Um, over here, we got, a, you know, oh, this one's great. This is probably going to be my favorite. Boom, thumbnail right there. That is brilliant. I absolutely love that. That's my favorite. Look, you got some rat. Wait, are they rats? Could they be beavers? No, they're rats with a skunk. Another skunk. And then you've got a bunny playing the uh, piano. I think that's pretty damn cool. Um, you got some squirrels there with uh, some with some money. How much money has he got? He's rich. No, it's not money. It's just cards. My mistake. Poker chips. Um, I think that's a possum. Looks like a possum. And you've got a crow right there. Uh, what else we got here? We've got some alligators. Well, we have an alligator, a little crocodile of some sort. We've got a... Is that a fox? A fox with a with a pipe. We've got a fish with another pipe. And we've got a raccoon in his little boat. That's actually really cool. I actually like that. RJ, the raccoon, over the hedge. If you've watched that film, great film. Um, we got a, a toad here. He's got a little gun! Oh my god, he's got a little gun. That's amazing. We've got another crocodile. See you later, mate. Not interested in you, but that frog is amazing. He's got a little sombrero hat. He's got a little gun. It's going to be a little Mexican frog. Uh, we've got another squirrel. Anything else? Um, some sort of bird? A parrot, maybe? Nah, it's not a parrot. I don't know. Some sort of bird up there. Um, whatever that is. Like, I want to say it's probably a possum again, but I know for a fact it's probably not. Um, we got some rats here going on an adventure. Look, Remy, Ratatouille, right there. Being uh, kicked out of the old lady's house. They've got to go to uh, Paris. Nice. Um, we got some... <laughs> got a raccoon and a... Is that a beaver? Yeah, a raccoon and a beaver having a boxing match. That's brilliant. We got some... Uh, Rabbits versus some more raccoons. Little pirate swords. That's it. Who's going to win? Who is going to win in that battle? Comment down below. Who would win in a battle, you know, with swords? Raccoons or rabbits? Let me know in the comments down, uh, down below, shall I say. <laughs> um, we got a frog painting the bird. That's actually a really damn good painting. You know, I know the frog didn't paint it, but that's a damn good painting of that little bird. Paint me like one of your French ladies. And then we actually have some stuff in the middle as well. Um, we'll actually come around to the other side to get a better view. We got... Is that a rabbit? I want to say it's a rabbit, but I don't remember rabbits having those kind of tails. That's a rat, definitely, but I don't know what that is. He's on a little unicycle. Flaming fireballs. Oh, it's supposed to be like a kind of circus thing, maybe. Um... We've got a little squirrel with a little sombrero hat riding a fox. And then we've got some raccoons and some... What the hell are they? I don't know what they are, but they're playing tennis. Was tennis even a thing back in the 1800s? It must have been. I don't know. But yeah, this is a really damn cool house, guys. Like, this is actually a really cool house. Again... My favourite is still this one. Definitely this one. Or or this one. Might like, you know, these are my favourite ones. I, I quite like those ones. But yeah, this is a really cool house. So guys, if you want to come and visit it again, I'm going to show you where it is on the map. It's the taxidermist house um, right next to Strawberry. Right here on the map. And remember, if you want to glitch into it, just pull out your gun. I'm actually going to show you me doing it again, just getting out of this location. So let's go up to the front door. I guess we can come to this door here. So you pull out your lantern. You then pull out a gun. You then aim downwards. Head towards the door. First person. And then you should glitch out. And if you don't get out straight away, jump forward. And you're out of the house. Or you're inside the house. So, yeah, that is how you do the glitch guys hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you enjoyed the house let me know what you thought of the house i thought it was a really unique looking house again i don't know how to get into it i've got my theories if any of you guys know how to like 
legitly get into this house, please let me know in the comments down below because if there is a way to possibly get into this house, maybe there's an interaction with a NPC in there. I do want to know. I do want to do it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like down below. And if you could, could you share this video around? It really helps me out. It gets me out there. And your support just means a hell of a lot to me. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything I upload. I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you all in the next video.